The Russian Soyuz spacecraft attached, attached to the ISS leak sparks delay of the rescue ship destined to collect three astronauts from the ISS. Mission Control in Houston have been noticing a, a stream of particles coming out of the uh, Soyuz MS-22 vehicle that was attached to the Rossiev module on the air-facing side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. We do not know what the source of this uh, stream of particles is at the point. At this point, uh, there is uh, discussions that are ongoing. Uh, first, uh, to make sure that the safety of the two spacewalkers is not compromised in any way, and then uh, to determine uh, what impact, if any, this might have on the integrity of that Soyuz vehicle. So you could imagine what kind of a big problem this is. This has been going on for weeks, and uh, they still can't get the astronauts back. So the leaks are sparking delays of the rescue ship, that's destined to bring back the three astronauts. The supply ship is now the second in month in the, in the uh, now the second in months to develop the coolant leak, with Roscosmos and NASA launching a probe into the cause of the latest incident. The launch of the rescue ship to the International Space Station, the INSS, is bring to bring home the three astronauts has been postponed. Their return vehicle has been damaged by a tiny meteoroid. And now another issue with the Russian capsule Soyuz has stalled the mission. A newly developed coolant leak is blamed as the issue on the occasion. The Progress MS-21 ACA Progress 82 supply ship has been docked with the orbital laboratory since the late, uh, late October last year, having carried up 5,560 pounds in food, water, and fuel Prior to the detection of the leak, the capsule had already been refilled with waste in preparation for being dispatched from the ISS on February 15 to burn up on re-entry. In a statement issued on the weekend, Roscosmos, Russia's state space corporation, said that as the hatch connecting the Progress MS-21 and the ISS had been sealed, the leak in the former would not affect the orbiting laboratory. In fact, another supply ship bearing nearly three tons of food, water, and fuel successfully docked at the station on Saturday, shortly before the leak in its predecessor was announced. Roscosmos said the temperature and pressure on board the station are within norms, and there is no danger to the health and safety of the crew, they said. According to Roscosmos, head of crew, crewed programs, Sergei Kirkalev, it was not the entire cargo ship that lost pressure, but the craft's coolant loop, the same system that got damaged on the Soyuz MS-22 crew capsule back in December last year. So what's going on with these things? That leak, which experts attributed to micrometeorite impact, had already affected plans to return the craft's crew of Commander Sergei Prokopiev and flight engineer Dmitry Petelin of Roscosmos and NASA flight engineer Francisco Rubio back to Earth. They were launched to the ISS last September from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, and instead of returning in the same capsule in March as originally intended, the Soyuz MS-22 will now be sent back home empty. As the Soyuz MS-22 has been deemed potentially unsafe to travel in, the ISS now finds itself short of lifeboats, quote-unquote, in the event of an emergency, with only one viable capsule capable of evacuating four people, but there are currently seven astronauts on the station. Prokopiev, Patelin, and Rubio were joined on board the laboratory in October by NASA's Josh Kasada and Nicole Mann, Russia's Anna Kikina, and Japan's Koichi Wakata. To replace the faulty lifeboat, Roscosmos had planned to expedite the launch of Soyuz MS-23 capsule launching it without a crew next uh, Monday, and in turn the crew had been scheduled to travel in the capsule and replace Prokopiev, Patelin, and Rubio, will now launch on the subsequent Soyuz MS-24 mission later this year. 
According to, accordingly, Prokopiev, Petelin, and Rubio will have to stay several more months on the station, pushing their mission duration up to nearly a year. The new leak of the Progress MS-21 supply craft may compound these delays. And as Roscosmos explained, while until the, the case of the emergency situation is determined, a decision was made to postpone the launch of Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft. The rescue capsule is now expected to launch sometime next month, while Roscosmos works together with NASA to probe the source of the coolant leakage with a particular focus on the materials and tech used in manufacturing these capsules. Mr. Kirkalev said, we need to conduct a thorough analysis to make sure that it would not affect similar components that will be used in the future. This is the most important task, he said. A spokesperson for NASA said, officials are monitoring all international space station systems that are not tracking any other issues. The crew, which was informed of the coolant leak loop, loop leak, is, is in known danger and continuing with normal space station operations, they said. Still a very bad problem to keep recurring, isn't it? This is by Ian Randall on Express UK. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.